you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. We've got a lot to talk about today. Got to hop into it real quick. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe, turn the on about boys, and join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Remember to like the video, guys. It really helps out a lot, especially as we get close to 21. And be sure to subscribe. You want to be joining now, guys? We have a lot of content coming out once Madden 21 drops next week. Let's get into this. So they just dropped some gridiron notes on us. So there's a lot more probably in the yard than we were able to go through any other things. So let's go through this right now and see what else was added to this. So welcome to the yard. Um, all right, pretty relevant up here. Moving on down, some nice screenshots though, which are super cool. What is the yard? Our fa our first experience of football are usually in the backyard. The playground is also home to many of the fondest of football memories. Where ends are at the end of the parking lot or a tree line. And Mississippi is just a place but a rule. These feelings and the fun they represent live on past backyard and flag football, 707 drills, and improvisation improvisation of downtime during practice. The yard is built to make that feeling a reality. Madden, okay, so they're pretty much trying to get that backyard feel again. So the yard gameplay. Let's go over some of the unique rules we find in the yard. The first thing, as you will notice, is the field. It is 80 yards by 40 yards like flag football. First downs are granted by 20-yard markers. Double passes. When you are behind the line of scrimmage in the yard, all passes are legal as many times as you want. We call this a double pass, and you'll notice that the receiver icons are always on in the yard. Once you're past on a scrimmage, you can pass behind as often as you like. We even added in a one-time mechanic that allows you to bat the ball in the air to another receiver. While the ball is in the air, hold L2 or L2 to press any receiver button. LT or L2. Laterals. The play never ends. Once you master laterals by pressing LB or L1, you can lateral as often as you would like in the yard. They even have special trajectories animations that keep the play growing. You can even lateral out of a tackle. However, don't get too greedy. Laterals have high risk and high reward in the yard. So you guys can kind of see here. Lateraling it back. Pass rush timer. Pass timer. If you ever count in Mississippi in a backyard game, you get this one. Each unique location will have a timer that dictates when the defense can pass rush. So pretty much, pretty, pretty much to put this into perspective for you, you got to get you know, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. That's as long as you pretty much have to pass. If you and then you can blitz. If you try to blitz too early, you will run into a barrier of a wall that will stop your forward momentum. If the quarterback holds onto the ball too long without passing, the play will be whistled dead. Finally, if you are blitzed, the timer goes away and you're free to scramble past on a scrimmage. But you can't rush until the defense comes after you. So right there, no blitz, no blitz, no blitz. You can pretty much just see it. Multi-snap. Another tool you have in your arsenal is the ability to snap to a player, any player on the field. Just use LT or L2 to bring up the prompt and press the button icon for a player on the field to snap to that player. Otherwise, you will snap as normal to QB. Be careful, though, if you snap to your receiver lined up on line of scrimmage against the DB, you won't have much time to drop back. Combined with new Madden 21 mechanics and ball sticks, but just to make sure that you don't miss them, we created a vast number of custom animations. All right, so you can see here some of the animations behind the back, whatever that is. Scoring in the yard. The yard is a special scoring system that rewards the type of creative playmaking that makes the game special. Touchdowns are worth the traditional six points, but score a touchdown with a double pass or lateral, two bonus points. Score a touchdown longer than 40 yards, one bonus points. Interceptions earn you one bonus point. Extra points are up to you. You can choose to try one, two, or three point conversions that get progressively further away from the goal line, and kicking is never an option. That's cool. What does this mean in the context of the game? Well, if you get an interception behind midfield, did a couple of speed laterals, and one for a three point conversion, you just scored yourself 13 points. Or on a single play plus a conversion. Like Superstar KO, the yard is based drive based off our standard rules. Our each game gets three drives, so each possession matters. All right, cool. The yard playbooks. It, is, it isn't about what plays you start with. It's about the plays you create. That's why we created a single playbook for all teams. It will have a limited number of custom designed plays on both offense and defense. The goal here is to encourage you to create your own movements on, down, on field using the tools at your disposal to trick your opponent. Okay, so pretty much you can go ahead. You can run your own routes. Kind of do what you want. Make your own moves. But more or less, they give you like nice route combos just to have prototypes so they're going to be the kind of guys you can make so pretty much you'll start off with a couple prototypes per position in the yard positions you say yes positions but not how you normally think of them the yard is iron man football meaning you play both sides of the ball and since not everyone can be quarterback at the beginning of the game you will select where you're going to line up on the field so you pick here where you're going to play for that game make your selection for the game now lines up if you line up at quarterback you play safety on defense Calls offensive plays. If you line up as middle linebacker or center, if you line up as center, you play middle linebacker on defense. You call defensive plays. If you line up as a receiver, you play cornerback. A receiver two, you play cornerback. A slot receiver, you play cornerback. And if you have line up as a halfback and you end up being an outside linebacker, and you also play head coach. So the position will inform how you want to play, but doesn't mean you have to play that way. So here's this pr uh, prototypes. If you're a quarterback, you can pick the the trus or the trues, which is a scrambling QB. That's the Lamar Jackson prototype. You'll have good speed, decent throw accuracy. And then here you can pretty much see where you can spend your skill points to do all of the above. There are three main components to your prototype's loadout. X-Factors, abilities, and skill points. Each prototype comes with a unique X-Factor that you cannot change. These X-Factors have unlocks in the yard that are different than standard Madden and are more directly related to overall performance in the field than the specific unlocks you see in other modes. 
Just pull up the coach cam to see your specific progress towards uh, activating your X Factor. So you do get X Factors. Next up are abilities. We're granting you a few to start. You unlock more leveling up the prototypes in your binder. Or by playing face of the franchise or rise to fame. Each prototype can, sl uh, sl can slot two superstar abilities of your choice. Then there are skill points. Skill points are earned by leveling up the prototype you are currently using. You can use these skill points to accentuate specific traits of your prototype. Finally, you may have noticed that the modifier selectors, these denote intrinsic traits of your prototype. A green up arrow means they have max skills in that area, but if the arrow is down in red, you shouldn't expect much in that skill. So pretty much, just because you can add things to a prototype does not mean it's going to be amazing. Kind of like here how his carries up, his throw powers up, but his catching traffic is going to be lower. That's kind of just what comes with the, with the prototype. Similar to 2K, if you choose a 7 foot 300 behemoth of a creative player, we'll make sure that it takes up half the screen and all the menus. Finally, depending on your event, your teammates will be filled out automatically or you will have the chance to pick a team for yourself. So your team, you're with Henderson, Williams, Bridgewater, Ramsey, Judy, and Singletary. So that's pretty cool. That's if you play offline, I believe. And then once your position and prototype are set, you will see your team most games against CPU. We will draft a team of NFL superstars that will be randomly picked from the players assigned to that location. Each location in the World Tour will have different players that you can play against, with and against. All right, so as we move on down, see your players next to your avatar. Those are the players you're able to control in-game. So if you're, where's your avatar? Probably Kellums. So these are your teammates. Pretty solid explanatory. So there's some yard in-game screenshots. You have your three player. You have your uh, two players here, two players here. So Rams is probably a wide receiver right now, and vice versa, at cornerback. Select your teammates. So why not go full 6v6 humans? We tried all sorts of combinations and prototyping the yard from 77 all the way down to 3v3. We arrived at a maximum of three humans controlling six players because it struck a great balance between focusing on your avatar and make sure that as many players as possible get involved in every single play. So yes, online is confirmed 3v3 as you guys can see there. So now you know all the details, here is a pro tip. Try to upgrade prototypes for every position group on the field. That way, no matter where you end up on the field, you're ready to go. So that's perfect. That explains a lot. So let's say you've been, you're upgrading your quarterback. Yes, if you, go to, if you go to wide receiver, you're gonna suck. So you wanna be always upgrading all the positions. So if your team has a quarterback and you have to play running back, you have to play wide receiver, you're good at that position. And then the yard world tour, so this is, I think this is more like the, the CPU. There's like the storyline. You go through the whole world tour, all the stadiums, and so on and so forth. We, um, uh, these are just the new locations. So going on up here, we got, let's see, we got Lambo Tailgate, which is the Packer style. We got FOB Nico, which is an operating base in an underscores location. And then we have the Brandenburg, which is in Germany and Berlin. Uh, and then we have, I believe, what this looked like. We, did we do Miami Port? Miami Port's up here somewhere. This is the Miami Port. This is the Packers. This is Brandenburg, Berlin, and this should be, I forget which one this one is, it's not saying though. I think it's going to be the FOB, the FOB uh, location. Next, we have gear and challenges. You see you can buy them, 2,300 cred, 2,300 cred to buy a new uh, helmet for yourself. Plenty of screenshots here. You got to buy the jerseys, buy the face mask, the colors, the arm sleeves, the chronos, which is just a, I guess the color for the gloves or chrome. With over 2,000 individual pieces, guys, there's plenty of stuff. I'm not going to go over all this because this is going to get pretty long if I keep going over every little piece. But as you guys see here, you earn credit, you earn rep. Rep's going to be upgrading your guy. Credit's going to be allowed to buy and make your guy look super cool. There's over 2,000 pieces of gear, which is super fun. The future of the art. Over the course of the Madden season, we'll be launching new prototypes for you to level up. New locations for you to challenge and new legends, icons, NFL stars to join your team. Of course, we'll be adding all fresh new gear to equip to your avatar. In the yard, you should always spec the unexpected. So that was a long blog, and it may sound like a little bit complex at first, but we want to give you tools to create amazing moments. Guys, I recommend you go back and you read this at some point because this was a lot to take in. If you have to reread anything, just let me know if you need the link down below or just go ahead and just type in Madden 21 Gridiron Notes. Uh, this is what's a uh, plat platform is going to be the same as mobile besides Madden Cash, Madden Points, and Geared Loadout, and of course online. Real quick, guys, right here, I'm just going to run through this quickly. This was the original thing they dropped. Did you see that? Mind blowing pays. Create, customize, play, progress. There's going to be common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary jerseys, which is super cool, specifically because the legendary ones are going to go ahead and give us the opportunity to actually get some rare items that other people don't have. Well, that's what it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on all your boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. It helps out a ton if you guys like the video, especially coming up to the new 21 season. And make sure to subscribe and be ready for Madden in a week. I'm out, guys. Peace.